Clive Myrie looks poised to replace suspended newsreader Hugh Edwards as the host of BBC's News at 10, insiders have revealed. Myrie, 59, featured prominently in a three-minute video prepared by BBC News Chief Executive Deborah Turnus last month, which she billed as her mission statement. The clip showcased a handful of presenters talking about values that Turnus wants the organization to focus on, clarity, courage, fairness, respect, and transparency. According to insiders, Myrie's role was easily the most apparent, and he was tasked with delivering Turnus's key line, we will never forget that your trust is earned, the Times reports. Staff who logged into the all-hands digital meeting on September 12 say Myrie's standing within the BBC appears to be on the rise, and as Hugh Edwards is not expected to return to his frontman duty. Many see Myrie's role as his replacement as almost assured. A rival presenter said, in a sense it's already out there, isn't it? Clive Myrie's presenting the news at 10. It is not thought any announcement will be made until the corporation decides whether there is any future for Edwards, who was its highest paid journalist earning between £435,000 and £440,000 a year. The anchor, who earned plaudits for his presenting during coverage of the Queen's death and funeral last year, is still subject to a fact-finding investigation by the BBC. Edward was suspended in July following claims he paid sums of cash to a young person and received explicit picture, as well as allegedly sending inappropriate messages to some colleagues. Police found no evidence of criminal wrongdoing. The gap left by Edwards leaves the door open for others to present next year's general election coverage. With Myrie a possible contender along with Sophie Rareworth, Fiona Bruce, Laura Kewensberg, Nick Robinson, and others. Turnus was appointed to her role in January 2022 after previously being at the helm of ITV News and Channel 4 News producer ITN, where she earned a salary of £400,000. The BBC is aiming to reduce £400 million from its annual budget by 2027, putting Turnus and other BBC chiefs under pressure to make cuts. In March, the BBC announced it would show 1,000 fewer hours of new television programs this year under its new budget. Last year, the government froze the license fee at £159 for two years, leaving a hole in the corporation's coffers although the license fee will rise in line with inflation from next year. Gil Hind, head of TV at media advisory firm Enders Analysis, said, The license fee has been completely squeezed over the last 10, 12 years. So in reality, between 2010 and 2022, they're on about 30% less in real terms, and over that period they've had to make a huge number of cuts. The BBC, like a lot of companies, has some sort of fact but they've pretty much cut all of that out.